Hi boys and girls, it's time to make another musical instrument. This one is kind of fun. It's called a paper plate tambourine. Here's what we'll need. We're going to use jingle bells again for this one. Susie's going to decorate with stickers, but you can decorate with pens if you like. A really solid hole puncher, a pair of scissors, some colorful ribbon, you can use string if you want to, but Susie finds that the ribbon, it's much easier to get through the jingle bells. And of course, a paper plate. The first thing we're gonna do is fold the paper plate in half. Then we're gonna take our sturdy hole puncher and we're gonna put in about five or six holes on both sides. So this is why you need a good solid one because it's going to be going really through two thick pieces of paper. Almost cardboard, actually. One, two, three, four, and there's room for one more. Six. There you go, right through. Now we're gonna take a big long piece of string or ribbon. And then we're gonna start putting it through the holes. Now here's the fun thing. The string or the ribbon is actually gonna make some decoration. So we'll put it through the holes from one end, and then when we pull it through, we're gonna put a jingle bell on it. And pull this string all the way to the bottom. And then we're gonna wrap the string around and pull it through the other end so that it makes a pretty decoration on our tambourine. Pull it all the way through and the jingle bell will be right there. Then we're gonna do the same thing. Put another jingle bell on. These are fun. Hmm. And sometimes a little tricky. There it is. Pull the jingle bell through. And again, we're gonna wrap it around and come through the other end. When it's all done, we'll straighten all the jingle bells up. Push it through. This is so great for fine motor skills. <laughs> That's really important for being able to play a musical instrument too. Put another bell in. Ta-da, ta-da. Ta -da. Wrap it around through the other end. It's almost like sewing <laughs> or beading. I know you all play lots of bead games. Make bracelets and necklaces. What sorts of things have you made with beads? Put in another bell. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. <laughs> and wrap it around, come through the other side. I wonder if you could just add some beads to yours as well. You could do that. 
some fun beads. Susie Sunshine has smiley beads. Ooh, here's our last one. Ta-da. Ta-da. Ooh, this one's a little trickier. There we go. Ta-da! Then we're gonna come around one more time to the last hole we punched. Ooh, it didn't go through both plates. That's funny. Do you ever have a tricky time with your crafts? Susie does. That's okay. That's how we build patience. So when it's all done, ooh, we'll take the string and tie it together on the back of our instrument. Susie likes to tie it twice so that it doesn't come apart. One. And two. Now you can either let your strings dangle. That looks kind of pretty. And then Susie has some very special music stickers. Try another one. A couple of eighth notes. And there is our very fancy paper plate tambourine. <laughs> See you soon.